Hello everybody, Merry Christmas. I tell you what, I hope you're having a great, great Christmas season. There's something about Emmanuel, God with us, that makes all the difference in your day. It makes all the difference in your thinking when you recognize the incarnation. God came in physical form, born in a manger, to rise up and, and reveal really the heart of the Father, the love of the Father, the life of the Father, the strength of the Father, the redemption of the Father. And of course, make a, a way, an access point for all of us to have complete reconciliation with the Father. It's a beautiful, beautiful time of year. It's really worth uh, just taking moments during this Christmas season and reflecting really on the goodness of God and the way God so orchestrated, you know, Jesus coming to the earth. I think the Christmas story is so fascinating, so full of miracles. And I think our lives can be that way as well, just full of the intervention of God, the, the interruptions, whether with his dreams and assignments and the angelic visitation and so many things. And of course, Christmas was resisted by a lot of people in that day. King Herod didn't like the idea when the wise men, of course, came and worshiped Jesus. Uh, Herod didn't like this, this, this idea that a king was born. And of course, he became antichrist in his influence and then had a plan, a political plan, to, to kill all the male children under a certain age. You know, it was, a, it was kind of crazy, but the world doesn't always understand the incarnation. The world doesn't always understand Christmas. Christmas, but you and I, as believers, we can celebrate. And that's really all Christmas is. Christmas means the celebration of the anointing. And you know what, dear friend, when you believe and receive the life of God, Christ is not just with you, Christ is in you. The anointing abides within you, the Apostle John said. And we can, we can know all things. We have access to everything we need because of Jesus. Well, friend, I just want you to know today that God loves you completely. He really does, and He wants to bless you. He wants to bless you now. He wants to bless you during this week. He wants to bless you forever and ever and ever. So put yourself in a place where you can learn to be loved every day. Put the Word of God first place in your life and rejoice in the Lord and see what kind of company God brings into your environment, people to encourage you to walk in His ways, to know His will, and to speak His Word over every situation and circumstance of life. Well, friend, I hope you have a great Christmas celebration with family and friends. Don't forget all of us here at Mutual Faith Ministries are so, so thankful for the friends, the, the prayer partners, the financial partners that help us in all of our mission outreaches in our campuses all over the world. You all are so precious and so important to the ongoing life-giving ministry of Mutual Faith. And here we just want to take a moment to thank you too for your kindness in so many different ways. Until we meet again, don't forget because of Jesus, you can be assured that God loves you completely. And we do too.